And we are back. Welcome to the final day of the group stages in the under-21 European Championships after a day where my predictions finally came good. If you missed yesterday's video, in Group A, we got both games absolutely spot on. 1-1 for Netherlands against Georgia and 2-1 to Portugal. In Group B, I did say on multiple occasions that I thought Croatia and Romania would end 0-0. But I just didn't have it in me to actually go for a nil-nil prediction. And I did obviously go for one nil. But that came in as well as a nil-nil. Just didn't quite get the Spain against Ukraine game correct. And I have to say, keep an eye out for Ukraine in this tournament. They looked very, very good against the Spanish last night. But if those predictions yesterday are not worth a like on that video or on this video, I don't know what else is. And of course, please do make sure you are subscribed to this channel. We are doing this every single day and we will be back with our quarter-final predictions on Saturday morning. Now let's get into the final games in Groups C and D. And we'll start off once again with the Young Lions as England take on Germany in a game that means absolutely nothing to England, but everything to Germany. No matter what happens in this game, England are guaranteed to be group winners. So expect Lee Carsley to make changes to the England side today. However... I have to say, I think even if he changes the entire team, the strength and depth in this squad, you've got to look at the players that didn't start in the last game, the likes of Harvey Elliott and Oliver Skip and, uh, what's his name, Jacob Ramsey. We have some very high-level, experienced Premier League players that play in top-level Premier League teams still yet to play properly in this tournament so far. So I think even though England could change their whole team, I think we'll still be too much for Germany. Germany have to win and hope that Chechia don't beat Israel. So there's an awful lot of pressure on them as well. But I just think we're going to beat them. I really do. I think the way we've played so far in this tournament has been fantastic. The quality that we have coming into the side today, if we do make changes, will still be too strong for this German side. And I'm going to go for 2-0 to England. I just don't think we look like conceding either. We've had a couple of ropey moments at the back, but nothing too majorly to concern us. So... I really do think we're going to carry on in this reign of form and hopefully it's going to be enough to see us go very, very late in this tournament and hopefully win it. So I'm backing the boys today. I think whatever team we put out will be too good for Germany and I'm going to go for 2-0. The other game in this group is a lot tighter to call. Obviously, I have seen the England games against Chechia and the games against Israel. From what I've seen and how they've performed against Germany as well, I think Chechia are probably the better side. They seem to be a lot more willing to press on the front foot, causing problems to opposition defences. That was certainly the key against Germany last time out. And you look at how Israel performed against England, and Israel just didn't even seem to care about attacking. So I think it's going to be a game where Israel will probably sit back, try and pick their moment to score, whereas Chechia, I think, will continue to push hard on the front foot and try and create their opportunities from there. I'm going to go for 2-0 to Chechia. I just don't think Israel have got anything in them to score goals. They just looked so, so poor against England. Maybe it was just overawing, considering, again, the quality of England, and they just didn't want to get exposed. But they're going to have to seriously rethink their strategy if they're going to pull off anything today. And I think Chechia will get the job done, get their own 2-0 win, as England will. And that will see those two sides qualify for the quarterfinals. On to Group D, and this one is a little bit more interesting. Now, France have won their opening two fixtures. Norway have lost their opening two fixtures. So it makes things very finely poised between Italy and Switzerland as to who could progress to the next round. Now, obviously, Italy beat Switzerland last time out. So all the pressure is really on the Swiss to pull off a result against the French. But we'll start with Italy against Norway because a win for Italy in this game basically confirms their progression to the next round. I am going to go for a 3-1 win to the Italians. They look very good going forward, but they do look a little bit shaky in defence. So Norway definitely could pull off something, but from what I saw of the Norwegian side in their opening two fixtures, they just don't quite have it for me. And Italy, like I say, despite almost getting pegged back by the Swiss in their last game, I think they'll just have too much attacking prowess to do the damage the other way, which will see them through. Because even if the Swiss beat the French, it's going to have to be by a significant scoreline as then you'll have a situation where all three sides will be on six points and it will then come down to goal scored and goal difference. It's going to be a very interesting one. 
I actually have been rather disappointed with this French side so far. I expected a lot more from them. Yes, they've won their first two games, but they've hardly been convincing. They've not looked particularly great defensively. And considering the likes of Cherky and Guri and Kefi and Turam, all these players that are being either linked with moves to massive clubs or are already supposedly performing at a very high level, I think there should be a lot more coming from them. And maybe they're just building themselves up a la Argentina at the World Cup where everyone was disappointed with them in the group, uh, group stage and they got better and better and better. We will see. I think they'll beat Switzerland, but again, I don't think it'll be convincing. I'm going to go for 2-1. They still need to win this game to secure top spot in the group. Obviously, for the reasons that we've mentioned before, they can't afford to lose this game in case goal difference comes into it. A draw will obviously be enough for them as well, but to absolutely secure it, they're going to want to get the win. I think they're just going to outdo it, but I don't know. They've not been convincing for me so far. That'll be it for today. As always, let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on everything so far in this tournament. Like I say, this is the final day of the group stages. What sides have impressed you the most so far? Who do you think, as it stands right now, should be considered the favourites to win this tournament? I will be back, as I said, on Saturday morning with my predictions for the aforementioned quarterfinals. I will see you then. Thank you very much for watching.